Welcome back. I did this for France. It's time to do it for North America. We finally have a little bit of an outlook for what the North American roster shuffle could look like. And so I've got six teams on here. We're going to go through. I got to do this fast because there's a lot more pieces to move around in North America than there were to move around in Europe. As you can see right off the bat, I mean, I started with four teams in Europe. I added a fifth eventually, but I'm started with six in North America. So it's going to be chaotic. I've got a bunch of free agents down here. We're definitely going to use these a lot more than I did in the France video. But right off the bat, this is where we had at the end of the season. We got Gen G in the red here, Abjack, Chronic, First Killer, Chrome, um, then Space Station in the orange. This is OG. I don't have an OG sticker printed because they're leaving the scene. And I figured, you know, I, I don't want to put it up here just to take it down. I do have another org that I'm going to put up here. Um, but we don't exactly know where every player is going to go org necessarily. So I'm also doing this partially from an org perspective, but also partially from a, here are some of the trios that I think we could end up seeing in what some of the scrim rumors are. Uh, that being said, I have stopped multiple times and just explaining what the colors represent. Uh, Rebellion in the lime green, they're kind of a lime green org. Uh, Dignitas got the yellow. I'm a little sad the space station had the orange, but I think that is a darker shade than the Dignitas. So they do end up in the orange. And then NRG, Rocking the green. They used to be the general NRG, which is where the green comes from from there. And then got this light blue and purple for the free agents. You'll notice that I have all the snowmen in purple. AJ is not a snowman, but I I had more purple mark or purple magnets than a couple other free agents that will probably wind up in this puzzle. That being said, this is where we're at right now. We got to quickly go to what has been officially announced. Now, on the Genji side, apparently Jack and First Killer have officially announced that they're moving on from options. And Chrome has also announced that he has been allowed to explore his options by Genji. But then he also tweeted out that he is planning on retiring. So thank you, Chrome, for your service. I'll keep you on here. Just because, well, he's gotten a bad rep recently because everyone's looking at solely results-based and saying that's why he's a bad coach. I have a lot of respect for him and everything he was able to do. He helped bring my team to a lot of success with SSG. And, you know, it doesn't matter what he's done in the past. I'm always going to respect the heck out of him as a coach. So I'll keep him on the board, not just, you know, throw him to the side. That's too mean. Um, Space Station has officially announced Chicago has been released, so I'll move him down into the free agent pool. Uh, OG has announced that everyone's gone, so I'm going to quickly run out of space here. I'm actually going to very quickly run out of space here. And Dignitas, Arsenal announced he's looking for a team. Gyro was released a while ago. I'm out of room, guys. Maybe we move this up. Uh, NRG Aqua's been released, and Mist has also been released. And, and this is this is just what's officially been announced. A torment also off OG because nobody's on OG anymore. I I'm out of room in the free agent pool very clearly. In terms of what's rumored, let's just start doing that because then I can start moving some of these pieces back to where they go. As of twelve o'clock. Eastern Standard Time, 12 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Monday. That's what we're going with. There's a reason I'm saying that time in specific. Here's what was rumored. We were rumored that LJ and First Killer are going to NRG. Garrett G's future is uncertain. Fireburner's future is uncertain. So that's a big move for NRG. Uh, a couple streams back, Achilles was like, I don't know what NRG is doing planning only around Garrett G. It seems like they just want to stick with him no matter what. Kind of like how BDS was synonymous with Monkey Moon. Uh, NRG is synonymous with Garrett at this point. And so it was hard for him to see a couple weeks ago NRG moving past Garrett G until he retired. That being said, now it sounds like they're willing to spend big and they want this duo. They want this duo. So far, this is what's been rumored. And... These two are definitely the primary two, so I'll move them up. In terms of who their third is going to be, we're not exactly sure yet. But leading, like getting the first scrim in is still potential is Nass. Now, Hawkster was also tried out here. Hawkster's no longer in the consideration. So 
Got to try out, doesn't end up sticking. That's what's been rumored with NRG. With Dignitas, you have, this is actually a team that if you've been watching my last two videos, you'll know this. Apparently Jack and Chronic are gonna be on Dignitas. At least for the flip and spin tournament. Is this locked for 2025? Absolutely not. If this flip and spin doesn't go well, I wouldn't be surprised if they're not gonna stick. Apparently Jack has been scrimming with quite literally everybody on the planet both in North America and Europe. He hasn't been scrimming in SSA, but he has been scrimming with everyone in NA and EU, basically keeping every single option open. So, excited to see this roster at Flip and Spin, but this is what's happening right now. Chronic wasn't moved away from Gen G, but I also believe that's primarily because he's just not on Twitter. <laughs> like, apparently Jack is on Twitter a decent amount. First Killer is on Twitter a decent amount. Chrome is on Twitter a respectable amount. I say respectable because you shouldn't be on Twitter too much. My bad. But Chronic just hasn't tweeted in a while. He's probably only really retweeted the obligatory, like, sponsored tweets that Gen.G wants him to tweet. So he's over here with Dignitas for now. Wouldn't, see, wouldn't be surprising to see Gen.G move on from him still. Rebellion so far still rumored to stay the same. Uh, it's a bit of toss-up, but it looks like these three are going to stick together. I might change that by the end of this, or at least theorize what could change by the end of that. Uh, Hoxer... Off Space Station. That's been rumored, unfortunately. And yeah, this is where we're at. So it's time to bring in our sixth org. Cloud9 is expected to have a team next year. Achilles actually streamed today, Monday, October 14th. And it gave a lot of insight on some of the things that are happening. A, this is not locked. B, this is not locked. C, this is planning on staying. D, Cloud9 apparently has a coach lined up, but no roster lined up. So let's start by just filling in who I think that's going to be right off the bat. My guess is this is Torment. Teamed with Squishy for a long time, synonymous with the Cloud9 name, coached for a year, coached OG to three lands. I know they didn't have the best results at lands, but he was still consistently a land contender. All right, coached for a land contending team in North America. I think it's Torment lined up here. I have no indication or any rumors that say that's true. That's just my guess. At this point, we're guessing. Until I say otherwise. There will be one other thing that I say otherwise that I am not guessing on. But at this point, we're guessing. Also asked on stream to Achilles earlier today is who's going to be the coach for this NRG squad? Achilles said he... I think the exact question that was asked was who do you think is going to be the coach for NRG? And Achilles said, I can't say, otherwise I'd be leaking it. Essentially, it's probably been decided, but it doesn't want to be put out there just yet. And so again, I am guessing when I say this, but I said this in the breakdown of uh, what happened in the offseason last week, is that both First Killer and LJ have coaches that they have shown that they like to work with, and I would assume it would be one of them. I said that, and then promptly, six hours later, Chrome retired. And Chrome was the coach I had in mind that First Killer has shown that he is like to work with. He worked with him, brought him in on phase, and I don't know if it was really his decision to bring him in on Gen G, but they still brought him in on Gen G. LJ has definitely gone with Sad Jr. And honestly, I want to see LJ and Sad Jr. stick together. I've read interviews with what Sad Jr. says about LJ. I know how well they've worked together before. I'm putting Sad Jr. with NRG because I hope hope that that duo stays together. I think that could be a real... I mean, they've shown that they can be a real threat. Sad Jr. was the coach for LJ on Oxygen when he had his first breakout split. He was the coach that came into Space Station after everyone thought they were going to be crap after losing Daniel, and he helped LJ blossom into what he is. I'm not saying that Chrome couldn't. There were a lot of problems with that Space Station roster before that ever happened, but Sad Jr. came in. All of a sudden, LJ starts looking like a world-class player. I like that duo a lot, and I really hope it stays that way. I'll actually be so disappointed if it doesn't. Violet Panda sticking with Dignitas, that's basically confirmed. I doubt they move apart from that duo. And so now it's just filling in the blanks. Up until about 24 hours ago, for that matter, my running theory is that we were going to see a team like Gen G sign the Snowmen. Frosty, Scribbles, and Reveal. 
I thought Gen G was going to pick up the squad as like a young upcoming squad that could really get it done. And I thought that they were going to roll with Achieves because I know Achieves has a good mind for the game. He did seemingly phenomenal work with Pirates on a boat in that first split, got them into two top eights, then ninth through 11th. I think Achieves working with a bunch of young guns would be awesome, right? Today, it was announced, and I'm going to struggle to hold my excitement in. I'm not kidding. That Space Station Gaming has signed the Snowman Trio. So now this is massive because a lot of people were theorizing that the Snowmen wanted to stick together. And it seemed pretty clear that the Snowmen wanted to stick together. But there's always the potential when you have an unsigned team that they're going to get picked apart by orgs. Like say, for instance, NRG comes along and says, we want Frosty. A little awkward to bring that up. But let's let's say LJ and First Killer say, we want Frosty. Is Frosty, without an organization, going to decide to stick by Scribbles and reveal if LJ and First Killer come calling and be like, hey, join our team? No. No, he's not going to do that. And it's really the case of like Cloud9 had two other players and was like, hey, Cloud9 also wants Scribbles. It's like, do you want to stay unsigned with Snowman or do you want to get a salary from Cloud9? These things happen when you have a talented unsigned team. So them all getting signed to the same organization was already a win. I thought it was going to be Gen G. I'm pumped that it's Space Station. I'm pumped. I'm so excited. I know it's not like an immediate championship winning roster, but that's also not what they signed when they entered the scene with the bread roster of Sathew, Sipical, and AXB. And look where it got them eventually. Like, I think all three of these players have phenomenal potential, but... All it took for Space Station the last time was one diamond in the sand with Sipical. And they rode that success for quite literally half a decade. I need to stay on topic. I could I could talk about that for days. So, who's their coach? It was also announced that they are sticking with Xpere. Now, Xpere was the coach for that Team Liquid roster of a Chronic, Oski, and a Tau. He coached this Snowman roster for Open Qualifier 3. Of last season, I believe the first two open qualifiers, they didn't have a coach. They got 9th through 11th of the first one, failed to make the main event in the second one, and then they picked up Xperi for the third one, got 9th through 11th again, I believe. It might be 12th through 14th. They definitely made the main event once they picked up Xperi. Second split, Xperi went back to Europe to coach a chronic on Luna Galaxy. Now he's back. And I know I said Achieves would be a great coach for these three. I stand by that. I think he would be, but that being said, I... Don't know how I didn't see this coming, considering how much Frosty and Xperi have been bantering back and forth on Twitter. So, this is not theory. This is, aside from actually being announced by the organization, this is locked. And the Space Station Gaming organization is playing into this. They had a video on Twitter with a car running over a snowman to, like, dispel the rumors. Fun social media team. I love it. That being said, I'm going to leave Achieves here, because I do think Achieves could end up being the coach of this Gen G team. Now, who do we fill in on these pieces? I'm kind of going to go based on some of the tryouts that I have seen around. Obviously, this Dugdatos being locked in, make things a little more stagnant. I can spread out these magnets a bit more. But one of the potential rosters, when it looked like Space Station was going to stick with Hoxer, that I actually really liked, was Hoxer, Com, and Kofer. For the memes, if anyone can... Or if anyone's... A deep pull enough that they remember the Hoxer to Cloud9 saga. I'm going to say it happens. Or at least I'm going to make this roster happen under Cloud9. Because honestly, I think that'd be funny. Not only that, it keeps Torment and Calm together. They played together back on version 1 for quite a long time. And then Torment was coaching Calm for this season. So they already know that that duo works as a coach, pair, uh, coach player duo. And then Kofer fit in here as well. I think that's... You know, maybe not a favorite to make land, but definitely in the running. And when it was rumored that this could possibly be a space station roster, I was pretty excited about that as well. So I'll keep this Hoxer Com Kofa roster as like a, I, I like how this feels. And then for who I think could end up on Gen G, one of the duos that's been talked about a lot is J Naps and Talk. For those who don't know Talk, he is a young promising player from Nova Scotia, I believe. He competed with JNAPS in a Canadian land. I believe they won it together. JNAPS was singing his praises after that land. Then he qualified with Tivaristo and T 
Tikarel. Maybe I'm remembering that incorrectly. Maybe it's Nitrous and Tikarel. He qualified to the Shift Summer League. He was definitely the star player of that roster. Uh, he qualified with a roster of fun. Uh, they ended up taking down that Space Station squad in their first matchup. But a lot of people are excited about the prospect of him. He's actually probably the one true rookie on this board. Everyone else has made a main event, I believe. Um... And then one of the duos that they were talking about on Space Station as well was uh, Hoxer, Talk, and Wavy. So I'm just going to basically take that and replace uh, Hoxer with JNAPs. And I think that could end up being a Gen G type roster. Now, this does leave a lot of free agents here. And don't be surprised to see a lot of these team up. I'm actually going to go ahead and move these two into the corner together because selfishly, Knowing how these guys respect each other and what I've seen behind the scenes, they used to live together. I would love to see Nolly and Arsenal make a team and then take a shot on a young player and try to make it work. There's no more young players on here, so maybe they end up with like an AJ or actually Aqua's on here. I don't know if Aqua would fit, to be honest, but we'll say AJ just for argument's sake. You, you still have a lot of players here as well. Fireburner and Garrett G wouldn't surprise me to see them stick together, and I assume that Garrett G, if he doesn't retire, will still get a good org. He's still a big name. And in terms of who he teams up with, I'm not really sure. I'll move Gyro away from the retirement corner because I don't think he's retiring. But Mist, Mist will kind of move towards the retirement corner. I don't know what's going to happen with him, but I also don't know how much motivation he has to play the game. Aqua, I assume, could still play. So I'll move him to, into a similar place with Gyro. I'll move Mist a bit up. And then Chicago definitely still wants to play, and Chicago is a hot prospect. But this is one possibility that I could see. But this also just assumes that energy is picking up NAS. That's not locked in. And so I want to talk about some other possibilities for what we could see if NRG elects to go for someone other than NAS. For example, let's say Flip and Spin doesn't work out. One of the possible tryouts is Stizzy, Appjack, and NAS. Now, this would be filthy, by the way. This would be a top-tier roster. Stizzy... Apparently, Jack and Nas all have high ceilings. You have the leadership of Apparently Jack. You have two younger players in Stizzy and Nas. You have the coaching of Violent Panda. This could be deadly, and I could definitely see them going for this if Chronic does end up getting the boot. But one thing that uh, one of my friends that I've collaborated with, Bel Air, is thinking about is Calm rounding out this roster. I think this is less of a you know top-tier talent. I think if you put Nas in this spot, you are all or nothing. You have the potential to be a world beater, but you also have the potential to fall flat with an experience a couple of times. Calm is more of a steadying force. They have a higher ceiling if they put Nas in because Nas has a bit more untapped potential. But on off paper, it could end up being a lot better if you had someone with a lot of composure, a lot of experience as Calm does. So I could definitely see Calm fitting into this roster. Who would end up filling his place on Cloud9? I don't think this will end up happening, but I would not hate to see Hawkster and Chicago stick together. Based on how things sounded when they split from Space Station Gaming, it sounded like they were going to end up going their separate ways. That being said, it did sound like the organization might rebuild around Hawkster at that point. Now that that's not the case, it might be back on the table for this to happen. That being said, I could also see a, not A, but I could also see Chronic fit in here, where it's Hawkster, Chronic, and Kofor. So it's a, lot, it's a lot of shuffling these other players around. I think this JNAPS and Talk duo is pretty set. But if you also want to go for pure potential, you could throw in Wavy here. And then maybe run back an old G2 roster and reunite Chicago here. It's been a lot of talks about uh, Garrett G and JNAPS wanting to play together. So maybe you fit a Garrett G in here. At this point, I'm moving ma around Magnets for fun and super fast. So I'm going to stop. But yeah, definitely a lot of potential for different rosters that we could see in this sense. And I think if Garrett G were to come here, then I apologize to Achieves, but Fireburner would follow him into here because I, I assume these two are sticking together. But that's kind of like how the world could work if Calm goes to NRG. I'm going to move Calm back to Gen.G because I'm going to be honest, I want him there. I want JNAPS leading two young guns and then you know, high potential. You have the veteran experience. You have a good mindful tactical coach and two players with a lot of potential that could potentially pop off. I say potential a lot, but we'll move calm back for argument's sake. And then selfishly what I want to see, because I think this would drive viewership through the roof. 
is if Rebellion do end up splitting up, I'm, I'm so selfish in wanting this, I know. But wouldn't that be phenomenal? Wouldn't Justin returning to NRG with LJ First Killer being the new Promise Kids, you do have the experience in the ice that Justin brings. He's still a top-tier player. He was a Game 7 overtime away from making it to the London Major. It would take this Rebellion roster splitting up. And to be honest, it doesn't sound like they're going to. There's a couple rosters that I have not included on this board because all signs point to the fact that they are sticking together. Those are G2. They're sticking 150% from what's been said. Uh, the Rettles Magic Cheese Squad, X Luminosity. We're not sure what org they're going to be on. It was rumored that they could end up going to the Space Station org because it was accidentally leaked in one of Rettles' videos that they were in talks with them. It eventually got edited out and they talked about it on Chalkcast, but I think it's clearly not happening anymore because this is much more locked in. And Complexity is moving up from South America. They are planning on sticking with the ros roster of Race Bull, CRR, and Diaz. So, could be a contender. I'm a little bit lower on that Complexity roster than a lot of people are. I could be the one who's proven wrong, but I'm a little worried if they don't improve as a team. And obviously, it sounds like they are dedicated to trying to do that. They got fifth in points in the second split in South America. So, I am a little hesitant to be like, yeah, automatic land team. Especially when this is still possible. This is still possible. And I'm biased. So, and this is obviously automatic. I say automatic, but last time G2 made a world final, they did not have a next best. Anyways, who would fill in for Rebellion? Now, if they wanted to go all offense, like they were last season, you put in AJ. Will they? They shouldn't. I'm going to be honest. You <laughs> Rebellion sold out for offense so much last season that putting in AJ for Justin would actually make things infinitesimally worse. And I'm not saying that because AJ is a bad player. I'm just saying that because you have no defense. You have none. So I don't think that would be the solution. Chronic is possible. Chronic and Two Piece used to team up back in the day. They teamed up with Daniel and they teamed up with Knight, I believe, on randoms. But this was kind of the squad that played in like $2,000 Astro weekly tournaments before they were old enough to play for the RLCS. It would reunite Two Piece and Chronic. I find it hard pressed to find that this Two Piece guy will split with Parth. And from the sounds of it, Two Piece is 99.99% staying on Rebellion. Quote from Achilles there from stream. So who would really fit in here? Personally? I like Chicago. I think Chicago brings a poise, brings a little bit more potential for the defense. He's not known for the defense by any stretch of the imagination, but I think he would fit in more nicely than at least be able to play that role of defense a little bit better than Justin was able to. And it could, you know, not be an on paper upgrade because a lot of people probably still have Sh or have Justin stock higher than Chicago's. But I think Chicago is still slept on and I think he proved that at the world championship. So I'm a little bummed that I don't have him fitting anywhere on this big board if Justin were to stay on Rebellion. But I'm going to be honest, Justin staying on Rebellion kind of throws my plans. So I'm going to do this. And because I want more chaos, I will move Justin to NRG. Is that the prevailing rumor at this point? No. But it's certainly a possibility. Another thing that was discussed on stream is that Ryze will probably get a tryout with NRG. He's not locked on that uh, Joyo and Archie roster. Actually, if Oski doesn't go to Gentlemates, there's a possibility that they actually just run back the old Oxygen squad. There's still plenty of moving parts. The only things that I can say are 100% set in stone are Stizzy on Dignitas, Violent Panda on Dignitas, these four on Space Station, and then they haven't signed anything, but it is very likely these two are going to NRG specifically. I'd say it's almost 100% they stick together. And again, this is just a theory, but I'd be so surprised if LJ and Sad Jr. are not a player coach duo again next year. Cloud9, I think they probably have Torment, but who knows? But yeah, that's that's really all the theory crafting. I'll keep this Nolly Arsenal AJ roster together because I think that could be a lot of fun. If I had a former roster from here, maybe keep Garrett G and Aqua together for all time's sake. Throw Chronic in there. Maybe that could work. I think that Mist is probably near the end of his career. 
and I'm not sure if he's going to get picked up by a great team again. I know there's always been conversations about him playing the game, and I don't think he did anything to shake that last season. So now that I've rambled on for about 15 minutes and moved everything around that is probably going to be outdated in two days like it was in the last video, that's about all I have. I am probably not going to do a follow-up video because the reason I did the revisiting the French roster shuffle is because one of the things that I said was impossible became possible. I don't think that anything... I don't think I've said anything on here that is impossible. So, except for Stizzy off Dignitas. But at that point, it's still like, okay, but then where does he go? Stizzy's going to stay on Dignitas. But yeah, actually, the only reason I would change this if, is if for some reason 150% isn't enough for G2 to stick together. That is the only way I would do another one of these boards for North America. Bar happening, it happening like two months from now. So, yeah. Hope you all enjoyed. Let me know if you agree with me, disagree with me, who you want to see here, because this is definitely not locked. Who you want to see Dignitas? Like, I know I kind of just kicked Chronic out for content, but, and then not only that, who do you think would make lands if this were the hypothetical board, or which team would you assemble in that could be possible to make lands? Do you have faith in this Snowman roster to improve on results? Who do you think could challenge G2? Will these two be shoe ins for land if they happen? Is Rebellion finally going to break that curse and make it? Uh, should Rebellion actually make a change? Should Justin stay there? And then if so, who does NRG get? So, yeah, let me know if you all enjoyed. And I got to slow down on the videos because I've had one for a day for almost like the past five days. But I will catch you guys in the next one.